Hi everyone and welcome to another video from DisperRepair.com. In this video we'll show you some common symptoms of bad shock absorbers and is it time to replace them. So stay tuned. DisperRepair.com Be sure to visit us at our website DisperRepair.com where you can find more useful car and driving tips. Before we start, just a few words about the importance of shock absorbers. Shock absorbers have a role of absorbing, together with the springs, all of the bumps on the road and provide a comfortable ride. But more importantly, they have a huge role in the stability of the car and in braking. So, bad shock absorbers do not only mean a bumpy ride, but worse, you'll probably be driving an unstable car and one with a much longer stopping distance. The first telltale sign of bad shock absorbers is a change in the driving comfort. At first you'll notice every bump as a small jolt, while later, as the situation gets worse, you'll notice every little hole on the road as a big impact. This is especially noticeable over a speed bump. If you notice a strong jolt and the car jumps over the bump instead of making a mild transition, you should check the shock absorbers definitely. Accompanied by the strong jolts may be unusual sounds from the undercarriage. In most cases it will be a thumping sound. At first it will be present only when you go over a bump, while in the later phases of the problem the thumping may be present even while driving on flat surfaces. It may also be accompanied by a mild squeaking sound. Instead of the usual handling of your car, you may feel that the car is unstable and jittery. This is because bad shock absorbers can't hold the tire to the ground properly. At first it will be barely noticeable, while later the car may be all over the road, so to say, especially on more damaged and bumpy sections. Also, when braking, especially if the front shock absorbers are bad, the car may violently tilt forwards when braking. When the shock absorbers are really bad, you'll easily notice a difference in the height between the wheel and the wheel arches. One of the clearances of the tires may be significantly lower than the other and the car then leans to one side. When all of these signs of bad shock absorbers appear, try swaying the car from one side to the other. If there is light resistance when swaying, or you can hear the sound of leaking liquid from the shock absorbers, there might be a problem. Also, if the car continues mildly swaying after you finished moving it, it's a pretty sure sign that the shock absorbers are bad. For the last and perhaps definitive symptom of a bad shock absorber, and that is to go and visually check the shock absorber on the car. Look into the wheel arch and if you see traces of oil on the piston of the shock absorber, on the spring, housing or anywhere around it, it looks much like an oil stain, the shock absorbers must be replaced. As with other car problems, a key factor for solving a shock absorber problem is noticing the problem on time. Luckily, all of these mentioned symptoms of a bad shock absorber appear gradually and it usually takes a couple of months for them to get to the critical phase. But best not wait till it gets to that point and replace them on time. The moment you notice any of these symptoms, make an inspection and replace them since it's a matter of safety. So that's it for this time, we hope the video helps, please like and subscribe, it's a huge help for what we're doing. Thanks for watching and thanks for your time.